Hello, my name is Travis Wilkie, and I'm a master's student under Dr. Aaron Heger in the Weed Science program at the University of Illinois. I want to thank you for your interest in submitting samples of water hemp for this Group 15 resistance survey, and I also want to give a big thank you to the Illinois Soybean Association for providing funding. The purpose of this video is to help us differentiate the water hemp from similar species and provide instructions for submission. So the first thing we want to talk about is differentiating water hemp from similar species such as smooth pigweed or red root pigweed. The best way to do this in the field is to look for hairs on the stem and leaves of the plant. If those tiny hairs are present, you're probably looking at smooth pigweed or red root pigweed, and we do not want these weeds for our samples. Water hemp, on the other hand, has an absence of hairs on the stem and leaves. With that being said, we also have to differentiate within the water hemp species itself. Water hemp is a dioecious species, meaning that we have male and female plants. We need to collect the female plants to make sure that we actually get seeds and not a wasted submission. The best way to do this in the field is grab some of the inflorescence of the plant, simply just the flowering parts, and crush them in your hand a little bit. If you begin to see small black to dark brown seeds, then you have a female plant, whereas if you're only getting flower parts, you have a male plant, and we do not want that submission. Whenever we collect these, we want to avoid the edges of the field as much as possible and make sure that we're only using one female per bag and that those two females are 30 feet apart. So whenever we go to uh, making these submissions and putting the plant in the bag, we need to keep in mind that we need as much seed as possible. So fit as much of the plant into that paper bag as possible and use only paper as plastic will preserve the moisture and jeopardize the uh, chances of getting uh, viable seed from that plant. If you need to cut the plant up in any way, please do so by maintaining the upper half to third where most of the flowers are at on the plant to make sure that we get as much seed as possible. Once you have selected your female water hemp and placed it in the bag, staple it shut with the submission form that is provided and repeat this with another female specimen at least 30 feet away and attaching the second submission form to that bag. I'd like to thank you all for your interest in this project and another thank you to the Illinois Soybean Association for providing all of the funding. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to myself with the information provided and I wish you all the best in collecting your water hemp samples.